When the United States announced that it would release 50 million barrels of crude oil stored in its strategic petroleum reserves, it had hoped that oil prices, and consequently gasoline prices, would fall. But hours after the White House announced the release, oil prices began to increase. It wasn't just the United States who decided to release crude oil. Japan, China, India, the Republic of Korea, and the UK also decided to release crude oil from their emergency stockpiles in a concerted effort to bring oil prices down. But even the coordinated release of SPR failed to lower crude prices in the immediate term. In fact, it raised them. Oil prices erased Monday losses and jumped on Tuesday morning following the announcement from the US administration that it would make available 50 million barrels, with Brent returning to above $80 per barrel. The total of 50 million barrels that will be released from US stockpiles will be split up as follows. 32 million barrels will be loaned out and must be returned to the SPR in the next few years, while the remaining 18 million barrels will be released from the stockpiles as previously planned, just moved up in timing. The US release is the equivalent of just two and a half days of American petroleum consumption. The other countries are going for much smaller releases, like India's, which will be just 5 million barrels. Unfortunately for the Biden administration, which is desperate to lower gasoline prices, the market has largely priced in the SPR releases already, and one-off sales from strategic reserves are unable to move oil prices significantly lower for any sustained amount of time. The market will now be waiting on a response from OPEC+, who have suggested that they might pause their oil production increases that were planned for December.